out of Germany today. This is the first city we're visiting. We're going to be here for a few days. So we decided to just walk around, check the place out, and we found this beautiful church. This is St. Paul's Cathedral built in the 1200s. So there is a massive organ that is literally as tall as this church is inside there. And when the sun hits it, it's just gorgeous. That alone is worth coming to see. The St. Paul's Dom Cathedral was built in 1225 and took nearly 40 years to complete. It also features a beautiful astronomical clock. So what else is there to do in Munster? Well, you could check out the A.C. Lake. There's lots of green space here to have a picnic, maybe bring a few drinks because drinking in public is legal in Germany. harbor front where we decided to stop and get some dinner at this restaurant I'm not going to try and pronounce. <laughs> So I decided to get the steak and it was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend everything that we had here was so good. The fish, the steak, I think that's it. I think that's all we tried, but it was really good. The next day we took a short car ride out to Nord Kirhen. If you aren't able to drive, there's a 45 minute train. We stopped in the adorable town of Nordkirchen, where I tried my first currywurst in Germany. It was delicious. So today I am here at uh, Schloss Nordkirchen, which is a massive palace complex. It's actually known as the Westphalian Versailles because of the gardens and the water features. So let's go check it out. Nord Kieran Castle is a Baroque palace complex in southern Munster. So unfortunately, it's not open to go in right now. The, uh, the municipality, the state that we're in in Germany, they're in their last week of school right now. So there are exams happening here. Um, some days you're able to come in, some days you're not, and it doesn't really say. It's still beautiful to just walk around the exterior here. Uh, this is the perfect time to visit though because it is completely empty. Everyone, all the children are still in school. It's the middle of the week so there's really no tourists here other than us and a, a couple other people walking around. So if you really want to see everything, definitely come during the week. There's also a cafe here. You can get a radler, a, a beer, um, and just enjoy this beautiful weather. So we've just arrived here at the gardens now and you can see how empty it is today. Um, so these gardens are gorgeous. I can't get over, first of all, the maintenance involved with this much grass. There's nobody here and it's perfect, absolutely immaculate. Not far from the palace that we were just at is this little fort.
Guten Morgen. So today I'm here at a cafe called 1648. Uh, so it's named after the year that a peace treaty was signed here in the city. And they do breakfast, so it's a klein gross, so a small or a large breakfast. They do coffees and teas, and there is a spectacular view of the city to check out here. That is the restaurant we were just in, and from the window I saw this really cool looking church that I thought maybe we should come check out. There's an art installation here by Gerhard Richter. It's actually very beautiful and uh, kind of mesmerizing in a way. If you're in the area, you should check it out. I don't know how long it's going to be here though, or if it's a permanent installation, but it's pretty cool. It's so cute. So I am looking for a pin to add to my backpack. I'm going to try and get one from every city, or at least every country that we visit. I mean, they are famous for bikes here. Maybe I should get the bike. I kind of like the building. I like the building. I think I'm going to get the building. Of course, we had to stop and get a traditional Westphalian dinner. The Pinkus Brewery has been open since 1866. And I got the Land Bratwurst. This is sauerkraut, right? Sauerkraut? Yes. Brat Kartoffeln. Brat... Nope. Brat 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 Fried potatoes. This is quark, which is a traditional Westphalian dessert. Uh, it's kind of like yogurt and it's very sweet. It doesn't really taste too much like rum. It's not very strong. Yeah, but that's, just, uh, that's just, pumpernickel. Yeah. It's just the bread is soaked in it for some time. The bread is probably my least favorite part. But the, the actual... Bread? Uh, there's bread on it? That's bread. The, oh right, there's cherries. Mm. So we just finished and everything at this restaurant was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend if you're looking for a very authentic Westphalian uh, dining experience, I would recommend the food here. It was really good. So today I'm here at Schloss Munster. The word Schloss means like castle or in this case more of a palace. Um, and this isn't very far from the Principal Market, which is the old town. So it's a short walk over here. Unfortunately, today they're doing construction on the exterior, so we don't really get the full view of it. Right behind this are the botanical gardens, so we're gonna go look at those now. They have different like sections, like we were just in the Australia section, and now uh, this one is New Zealand. Uh, the only thing, all the signs are in German though, so if you're here to like learn about the plants, you might not get all the information.
All right, so that's it for the Munster Botanical Garden. So this is a very budget-friendly thing to do. It's free, there was no cost to get in here. And uh, it is mostly outside, so you're gonna wanna check the weather before you come. There are two sort of indoor uh, greenhouses that we went to. They had tropical plants and they were actually really nice to walk through, but very hot. So if you're here on a hot day, those are even hotter. But yeah, if you're in the area, it's definitely worth coming to check out. So I was very fortunate to be able to stay with family and I didn't have to pay for my accommodations here in Munster. But if you are looking for a hostel, there looks like there's two options and they're both very well located, starting around $30 a night. Or if you would prefer a hotel, there are quite a few hotel options in the city, starting around $100 a night. I like to use the website Numbio to get a sense of what things are gonna cost. So looking at these numbers, 10 euro for an inexpensive meal, 50 euro for a mid-range meal, I would say that is pretty accurate to what we were spending here. Donor kebab in Munster is probably gonna cost you around 8 euro 50. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you want, that would be awesome. I'll see you in the next one.